give you the conclusion of this matter and give you another way to view it. Um, so the question was, you know, was the devil allowed back into heaven? I'm here to tell you he was not. Um, so if you look at it from an astrological or numer a numerology belief, it, you would probably think that the devil was allowed back into heaven. Um, but if you actually keep it in context, what it says here is that um, the, the, the sons of God. Okay. Who were the sons of God? Some people think that those were the angels and there has been references or times in the scriptures where God referred to the sons of God as, um, angels, but, but you have to understand it's got, you got to understand your pretext and your context in order to know which definition it is. That's how Hebrew is. Um, one word in Hebrew could mean three different things depending on context and pretext. So, in this particular uh, context and pretext, you can see this story um, in uh, in the book of Genesis. OK, um, well, not this story, but you can see where he referenced the sons of God in Genesis one through four. OK, so here depend. Um, we know that these were holy men. These were human beings, men that obey God. They were also referred to as sons of God because there were two major lineages here. You had Seth's lineage, which was at, um, Adam's second boy. And then you had uh, um, uh, da, 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 Cain's lineage, who was Adam's you know, other child. Um, Cain's lineage, they were not faithful to God. Seth's lineage was faithful to God. So in this lineage, he's telling us these things so that we know who was uh, which lineage was obeying and which lineage was not. So now that we know that Seth's lineage was the ones who obey, this is where, you know, Job and everybody is coming through, right? So when he's saying sons of God here, he's talking about Seth's lineage. These are human beings, nothing supernatural about them. When they came together, you know, to worship the Lord, um, this is what they did, you know, and, and anytime and even when we go worship the Lord, you know, it is our belief system that God is there. God is watching. You know what I mean? So this is what he's saying in Job 1, 6 through 8. When the sons of God came to worship the Lord on the earth, not in heaven. It's very important that we understand context here on the earth. They don't say that. Mm hmm. I don't say that in the Bible. Okay. So depending on they translation. Don't say no, on no earth in the Bible. Can, okay. So we can go with a common translation, which we can go to maybe King's Jack. Uh, the common translation is English. The common translation is English. For so those of us who don't know Hebrew out that there. Is English. For, look, for those of us who don't know Aramaic, for those of us who don't know Hebrew, for those of us who don't know Greek, for those of us who don't know all these damn languages y'all trying to intellectually <laughs> masturbate, let's keep it to English. Because that's intellectual yeah, all masturbation. These are English, I promise. I promise. So, All right, so we started, if, if we're going to analyze this, we're going to analyze this from an English perspective. And the English perspective okay. say that the sons of God, they was in heaven presenting themselves before the Lord. And Satan came in. Yes, it okay. does. You want to so, so, get the good book? Get your good book and read it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just answering your question. What, where where are we reading no, from I again? I, I, I'm, I'm still on Genesis. Genesis. Wait a minute. Go I didn't on. ask a question. I was, I was trying to show you that it's not on earth. No, you you asked the you said this in your when it was your turn. Um, so so I'm going back and I'm just addressing what I did not address when I was giving you the floor. That's all. Um, so here I started in Genesis uh, six one through four so that we understand um, what holy uh, sons of God are. So that's where we went first. Okay, so so we can understand holy men are referred to as sons of God. Sometimes in the Bible, right? Okay. And, and, what, now, and what verse? And, and what verse? Genesis six, one through four. And and that and that son of God they were talking about is who? Uh, these the are man. just holy men. Th these are just men who obey God. Let me go get my Bible, man. My Bible different. Okay. It says, okay. "Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything uh -huh. that's going on." Yeah. So yeah. my my say earth. Yeah, a, a lot so of translations do. So that's Satan distinguishing that, number one, they're not on earth. Because God asked him where you come from, and he said to and fro from earth. Okay? So we know no, no. that. He, that didn't, he didn't say to and fro from earth. He didn't say that. Yes, he said King, James been, two, been, two, 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 King James versions do. 
That's the 1611 King okay. James. What you talking about? Okay, read it to me. Okay. And let's go. Here we go. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Going to and fro in the earth and from Bam, walking right up and down in it. In it. Right. Right. So That's to right. and fro meaning I've been back and forth. In it means I've been all I, I always I, I was also was in the earth, kicking it with the humans on in, in the inner earth level too. Now wait a minute. If if God and get the devil got this big beef like y'all claim, and the devil is a lie, and the devil is all this. How can Satan, number one, walks into the presence of the council, whether it's whether it's on earth or whether it's in heaven? Okay. The last time I checked, when a criminal walks into a motherfucking police station, the police arrest him. They don't make a bet with him. Okay. This is his jail, for one. Huh? This is, the earth is his jail. Well, like one. I told you before, he was able to have a conjugal visit when he presented himself before the Lord. This okay. is his home. Okay, so when he got kicked out of heaven, he well, got wait a minute. The Bible don't say that. Though. Listen, we, it listen, does listen. in Revelations. It does. It does. No, it, it don't. Show us. Yes, do. Show us. Oh, don't I tell will. us. Show us, man. I promise the Bible you, I don't will. Say that. I promise you, I will. So are you we just said the Bible didn't say to and fro, and I just showed you that the Bible said to and fro. Um, no, you didn't, because it actually it says here on this earth. King James version. What you talking about? Did y'all hear King that? Did y'all right hear off the earth in any way, shape, or form? I didn't hear that. Okay. It says so it right here. It says it. The Satan I'm answered the Lord it. and said, going to and fro in the uh -huh. earth and in from earth. walking up and down in it. Right. In the so earth. To and fro, We're not said, in heaven. But then what I'm trying he to say, you know, wait, before heaven. you get to that part, you just said that the Bible don't say to and fro, and I just showed you that it does. No, no. I said from heaven to earth is not what he's doing. Everybody he's, uh, he's is in heaven the having a conversation with God. Is. I'm sorry? He's in heaven having a conversation with God. How? When the men are right here on earth and the devil himself says they're not, he's These are not earth. men. These are the sons of God presenting themselves before the Lord. These are it holy says the Elohim. men. The, when, when, are they refer, holy when they refer men, to the when they refer to the Elohim, they're referring, when they refer to the sons of God as the Elohim, check your Hebrew because you like to bring a Hebrew up. I'm a Hebrew master. Okay. When they mention, when they mention the sons of God in the Hebrew in, in Job, they say the Elohim. Elohim are a plural for gods. So they weren't talking about men. Context pretext, sir. Context, context pretext. pretext. We're going to just talk about definitions and meanings. We can because I'll tell you. All I'll right, tell so you. the definition. Okay, so so, so you when a son of God, you want Elohim, let me do so. Elohim, okay. We know. What does it mean? First and foremost, we, what does it mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We know that Elohim means God. Okay. No, it don't. Now, no, it don't. Hold on. No, it hold don't. On, hold on. No, it don't. Hey, let me tell you something. Depending on context, pretext, it can Bro, mean. No, Elohim pretext. does not mean God. It never did mean God. Elohim it never meant does, God. Sir. Do you have a strong? Do you believe in the strong? Yes, I. Uh, the strong dictionary, the strong concordance show you that Elohim means 430, God. 430 for in the strongs. Go get it. 430. I gotta go get it. I got it right here. I got Google. I can Google it. Google. Go ahead. You go. You okay. the one that's Elohim. bringing the knowledge. You bring it. Okay, I, but I, I but the proof of burden is on you, sir, not me. The burden the is on who? The burden is on you. How the, I already brought, already brought my argument. You trying to you refute it? How the burden on me? But hearsay and out of context content. You're not showing anything. You're speaking out of your mouth. You what are you showing? Talking about you, you're, you're all not reading the Bible. Y'all huh? all are speaking English. We all understand. And all I'm doing is answering the questions and keep it in a proper context. That's it. Thank you. So Elohim, Elohim. again. Okay, hold on. So Elohim. In the Hebrew, like I just, I just, I just educated, like you me, that it can be three different definitions, depending on context and pretext. It can mean one God. It can mean majesty, magistrates, depending on the context and the pretext that is being used. There are like three different things that it can be. 
But for the most part, it is known as God. 